Thank you, Lucy. Hello, everyone, and good evening. And welcome, and welcome to the fifth annual SME for Labor Gala Dina. Thank you. My name is Ibrahim Dogus, and I'm the co-founder of SME for Labor. I want to begin by thanking our sponsors this evening, Hercules Site Services, Community Union, Marketplace, FM Construction, and Alton & Co., who are all here tonight with us. Thank you to all the brilliant staff working here at the venue tonight, and thank you to all of you for joining us here this evening, including members of Shadow Cabinet, Metro Mayors, and people from across the Labour and Trade Union movement. As a co-founder of SME for Labour, a huge thank you to the SME for Labour team who have organized the event this evening. They include another co-founder and our co-chair, Sonny Leong. Sonny is a former chair of East and Southeast Asians for Labour, and he has dedicated his life to fighting for equality and championing small businesses. And only a few weeks ago, it was announced by Keir Starmer that he will soon be joining the House of Lords. We are, we are incredibly proud of Sony. Sony, thank you for being with us. Before we begin this evening, I'd like to tell you why I co-founded SME for Labour and why people like Sony, Mark Glover, Rihanna Amir, and the rest of our team work so hard to promote its role in the Labour Party. I was just 14 when I, arrived, when I arrived here in London from Turkey as part of a Kurdish refugee family. I did what most immigrants do in this country. I worked hard. I worked hard at school. I worked hard to learn English, you can tell. Life for me and my family was not easy. We lived four to a room. I remember seeing the fear in my parents' eyes when new bills arrived as they wondered how they would pay for them. I worked hard to bring some extra money in for our family, washing dishes and cleaning floors at the age of 15. For my parents, like the parents of thousands of immigrant families, all they ever wanted for me was to have a better life than they had. And they were so proud when I became the first in our family to go to university. I love this country because of the opportunities it has given me and so many of us. And and it, and it was because of these opportunities that this country has given me, I was so determined to pay it back. In 1999, I was elected at the age of 19 to chair the largest Kurdish and Turkish community center in the UK. We raised thousands of pounds to tackle social issues, including gangs and drug crime across North London. Gangs who stifle progress through fear and violence. And when I took them on, they tried to intimidate and silence me. They set fire to my car. Then, and then in 2002, they shot me in the stomach. It was at that point I was helped by another great, great British institution founded by Labour, the NHS. And it's brilliant to see West Stritton here tonight, who will be the greatest you know, health secretary of this country. And it was only because of the NHS doctors and nurses who cared for me that I am here to tell this story today. But rather than silence me, that experience made me more determined to fight for social justice. I did what I had always been taught and what I knew best. I worked hard. I took over a failing restaurant in Waterloo, only two minutes away from here, South Bank Kitchen, for those who haven't been there yet. And through hard work, we turned that around. We turned it into becoming a successful business. The businesses I am involved in are accredited for London living wage or are working towards it. And through those businesses, I am proud to give employment opportunities to people from all over the world, just as I had when I was a teenager. In Britain today, there are hundreds of thousands of other SME owners 
who are doing more than that. So many of them born abroad who come here to build a better life for themselves and for others. Our duty as SME for Labour is to find them and organize them around the Labour family. That is our mission for SME for Labour. The Labour Party is the party of workers. The clue is in the name. A party which represents people who get up early and do a hard day's work and fights to ensure they get a fair day's pay. People who know that thriving businesses make our society stronger and enable us to provide decent public services for all. The previous Labour government was a great friend of small businesses, creating the conditions for us to prosper. SMEs are the backbone of the community and the engine of the economy. SMEs create the jobs, generate the wealth, deliver the goods and services, and provide the glue that holds our communities together. And unlike so many of the rapacious transnational companies that operate in the UK, we pay our taxes. We pay a lot of our, a lot of our income goes to taxes. The truth, the truth about SMEs is that they are often family run. They want their businesses to serve the society, not simply take from it. And they are a source of immense pride for those who own and work in them. And Labour Party is becoming the party of business and the party of SME owners look to. The Tories talk about, like Liz Truss would say, growth, growth, and growth. Then they will crash our economy, forcing hardworking families and business owners to pick up their mess. They talk about trust and integrity, but they break every single COVID rule and then reappoint a disgraced Home Secretary just six days after she was forced to resign. They talk about a vision for our economy, but yet they offer nothing. As John Allen, chairman of Tesco, who is not the usual Labour supporter, said recently, when it comes to business and the economy, there's only one team on the field, and that team is the Labour Party, including Sir Keir Starmer, Rachel Reeves, Johnny Reynolds, Sadiq Khan, and many more. Because of their leadership, in two short years, Labour has moved from being the opposition to being the alternative. Because of their leadership, Labour now is a government in waiting, and we don't want to wait for too long. We want a general election quite soon. And because of their leadership, business is looking afresh at Labour. But what does business want to see from Labour? When I speak to other business owners, they tell me they want Labour to provide a solid offer to SMEs, reform of business rates, easier access to finance to help our businesses grow, tougher action on late payments, access to talent and skills, investment in green technologies, a public transport system which works for every part of the UK. I know Tracy Braben will be happy to hear this. And then to rip off rents. I know Labour will set out policies closer to a general election, but the fact is that business now looks to Labour as the party to get this country back on track after 12 years of Tory mismanagement. That is a great achievement in two years. So tonight, tonight we will celebrate. We will celebrate some of the fantastic people who have helped get us here and transformed our party's record on business and the economy. And we are also here to celebrate the stars of the Labour Party over the past year with awards for excellence. SME for Labour have exciting plans for next year and I hope you will join us. You should have a booklet from our past events. This tells you what we've been up to for the past few years and hopefully you will join us for the next year's events. SME for Labour is growing and going from strength to strength, but we cannot do it without you. The brain, this, was, this, this organization was the brainchild of Sadiq Khan, our great mayor of London. He, he single-handedly forced me to do this, the great organization. Let's enjoy another fabulous night here at the Park Plaza together and celebrate SMEs and the stars of our party and movement winning awards tonight. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much.